focus apart from the fact that cleaning is part of the, the title is um, we focus very much on um, the real estate side of the business so uh, residential has been a very major part of our um, our life um, commercial is also becoming a very important part of our client base but the pre-sales here in Brisbane um, we've positioned ourselves as a specialist in that area um, and we've been absolutely flat out over the last 18 months with that but particularly this year is just really focusing on that because there is nobody else sitting in that space. So yeah, the business at the moment is three of us. Um, we foundationally have been doing a lot of work on our systems, getting all of that right, our rebranding. There's just it's been a huge amount of work. But yeah, we you know we're very much experts and specialists um, across clean in general. But for that pre-sales niche, our business was 99% residential regular cleaning, and for about three years, the team were not happy with just doing that. We wanted to be in a position where we could pick and choose the kind of work that we wanted um, and work that was at a much higher profit margin than what we were sitting at previously. What we're doing now is something we have wanted to do for about three years. Um, and with the growth in Brisbane, Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast, um, it is a really important move. Uh, real estate here has just doubled and tripled in some areas. Um, the amount of money um, being put into that part of the industry is is huge. And again, there really isn't anybody else doing what we're doing. Um, so we spent a lot. We spent a lot of time um, on making sure the rebranding was right, um, and making sure that the service, the really professional service we offer, is better than what everybody else is putting out. And it's continually the feedback that we get all the time is um, how professional we are in our approach to everything we do. We knew that we wanted to sit in that space for some time, um, but it was letting go of everything else. And I guess financially putting ourselves in a position to be able to do that as well. Pretty much get rid of 99% uh, of our clientele um, in order to free up that space for us to be able to pick and choose um, and to you know be in that market that we're, that we're now in. We're always at risk um, being business owners as opposed to working for somebody else. We get to do what we want, when we want. Um, we can plan our own business with our own ideas. We can brainstorm with ourselves, but we can also meet a lot of people who are like-minded to us because of the kind of business groups and the businesses like Outsourcing Angel that we deal with. Um, is very much a similar kind of um, situation to what we are. You know, someone starting their own business and giving others opportunity. I think that's another thing that I really love about this business um, is while we don't have any team members at the moment because we've chosen not to, is in the past, you know, others have had opportunity and it helps them. And if I or we, um, you know, are in a position where we can help somebody and they grow within our business and then they find an opportunity themselves to do something similar and I've had this in my floral design business um, I love that other people say aren't you scared of that and you say no wouldn't you want to help somebody find their own thing as well um, yeah I really love that as well about being an entrepreneur I'm not good digitally I needed someone in the background who could organize all of our systems, that was a big one. Um, we didn't have a website, we didn't have Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, we didn't have any of that. Our business has always been about referral and that still hasn't changed. We still don't advertise. But what's really important is, you know, moving forward into this space, we had to have all of those things. We had to have all of the branding, have all of the important documentation in the background that we didn't have previously. So for us to expand and evolve as a business, um, we had to take that next step to actually getting somebody else on board. We're lucky in that Abby is amazing. She understands everything and anything about tech. I can send her a list of different apps and technology that I've heard about and she'll go investigate and research um, and see whether it's something that we can utilize. Apart from administrative tasks, you know, she runs our internet site. Um, she's organized all that. She organized the website. She runs the website, um, all of our CRM, all of our social media. <laughs> and she does it four hours a day, five days a week. So what she manages to do in a short period of time, we've 
basically left all that responsibility to her because we don't have time and we don't have the skills. We don't get to our approvals of things that she's done fast enough. But yeah, I mean, she's always ahead of us. <laughs> so, But that's also where we need her to be is running everything in the background that we can't get to because that's the kind of person that I, I really needed at that stage in the business. And obviously moving forward once we changed the business last year um, to the new company, then, you know, Shatice and Remy are the same. Um, they they know they can hand anything off to her and she's always in the background saying, I can do more, I can do more. So, and the, the various layers within Outsourcing Angel make it easier for us if we have any issues as well. Um, we know that there's backup there, um, both in the Philippines and here in Australia, um, if we need help with anything further, so. I had never even entertained it. Um, I was in a business group where a lot of people talked about it. And at the back end of the you know conferences that we would go to, we'd have a mental day and there was um, a company there. Um, but I had been asking around in my accountability group um, and outsourcing angel um, was the one that was utterly pushed to me uh, about how professional they were, how quick they were. The process is, always really really simple um you know first talking to richard then to you um and then the process of you know interviewing three people that was the easy part for me because that's you know recruitment methodology is easy for me for me i i'm not a micromanager at all um i think there's nothing worse than being micromanaged and that you know that has happened to me previously um i think having the ability to um, put forward your ideas is really important um, but also we rely so much on everybody else's knowledge because there's so much we don't know about what's out there and, and we get that from all areas of outsourcing angels there's just oh my god there's the digital world is overwhelming to be honest for people like us the benefits of having a va are the fact that we don't have to come home home is where the office is but we don't have to come back after hours and do absolutely everything and sit up till midnight every night um the fact that um we've been able to help her um move forward in her life as well which has been great to watch her and her family um and i guess you know the the opportunity that comes with us with that um as well so the professionalism that we present in terms of our branding um has been very much due to having abby um that would have been nigh impossible for me to get and far more expensive to be honest far 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 more expensive than what we ended up with so the fact that we've been able to create all of these systems um, and accountability, accountability checkpoints is all because we have um, Abby um, keeping us going in the background. Mm -hmm.